good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Have your weapon at the ready. Certain Carlia knows we're here. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. You. Carlia's been through a year. What does she expect to find? Rat, you're not. Rat, you're not. 
more of that. <laughs> Who's there? That wasn't a fun. Who's your people attempt to hide is insulting. Must you keep stopping?
What? What is it? one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlia's close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth, and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. 
I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? Can I help you with anything else? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded, and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist 
that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. I'm very busy, so this... What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. The Shuen cell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Preposterous! That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to... Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you... I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire artists or something. What a waste. There must be a dozen men up there. You're trespassing. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you in your defense?
someone there. Order of the yard. Stop right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
You have committed crimes against... Lucky hit.
I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Back, eh? And was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm, this is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seemed certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about... the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's... what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college, and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, Come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Was there something else? If you have further need, you must of hasten you to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Taking me up on my offer? I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? Usual Guild rate. Let's take a look at him.
Give my regards to Carla. If you see her. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Brim. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Bag of Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the vault. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours.
98. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. The gold. It's yours. It's all gone. Bitch, I'll kill him. Vex, put it away, right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Look if a word. from his skull with my bare hands. I need to stay focused Look, in case Frey comes before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus' diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the Guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpads in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home, and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Be careful, lass. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else at that time. Stay need to stay bay. focused in case Frey comes like back. Make it fast. 
That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? Think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. I consider joining up myself. should have come here. This is what you want?
can't talk long. Gotta keep my eyes out for Bursa. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the Guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the Guild's treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet, lass. Not now, lass. Carlia said it was important. <laughs>